I am Suda Dehnavi and I work at Tehakol University of Applied Sciences. My academic background is in agriculture economics, water security and food security. Since 2015, I am involved in coordination of international master program in integrated water resources management with focus on Middle East and North Africa. In this presentation, I would like to share with you lessons learned from implementation of such an international educational program in achievement of the SDG goals, specifically Goal 4.3, which aims to ensure equal access to affordable and quality education, as well as Goal 6.5, which is about implementation of integrated water resources management at all levels. Successful implementation of IWRM requires interdisciplinary water professionals who are familiar with IWRM concept, who can think in holistic way, who can function at different levels, and finally, who are familiar with the agenda of IWRM in the framework of sustainable development goals. Educating such professionals requires an educational program which is beyond the curricula of classical fields such as civil and environmental engineering. Thinking of the MENA region with increasing water scarcity issues, we would need professionals who can understand, analyze and find solutions for those complex problems. Bilateral higher education programs would foster transfer of latest knowledge and existing experience, as well as new educational concepts, fundamentals for innovation and system thinkings to the other country. In that way, can foster equal access to high-quality higher education programs at different universities. The IWRM program is designed in four semesters. Two first semesters take place in Germany, third semester in Jordan, last semester, depending on the interest of the participants. The program includes different projects that are designed in cooperation with the practitioners, jointly define a problem, design a solution, and implement it. Initially, the program was financed by the Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development in Germany as a development project. It was in the form of a double degree between Tehakol and the Jordan University. In 2013, funding phase was over. Since then, this program has been successful to run independently without any extra funding. Program structure has changed several times to be able to assure its sustainability. In 2014, the program is restructured in a joint degree format due to request of the Higher Education Ministry in Jordan, and in 2016 has changed to the form of a joint exchange program, especially considering two very diverse academic culture of two universities, designing a joint exchange examination regulation has been a big challenge. Coordination of the program in Jordan is by German Jordanian University. I would like to share with you some key features of the program that has played a central role in its success. Firstly, diverse case studies are incorporated in curricula. Moreover, different scales from water basin and regional settings, they're all considered throughout the design of the courses. Intentionally, we accept a very diverse group of students with different academic backgrounds from civil engineering to social economies and increases the interdisciplinarity understanding of the participants. A good example are civil engineers who are defending very strongly their discipline at the beginning of the program. And we can observe how they transform during the two years so that at the end they have a whole chapter, for example, on economics in their master thesis. In addition, projects are based on real-world water management challenges faced by practitioners and they are supervised jointly with these practitioners. And graduate profiles are designed in close collaboration with the key stakeholders of the water sector to fill the gaps and increase their chances for having a job which matters for them. Moreover, students are chosen from different countries in MENA region, and in that way they get to understand different cultures and gain intercultural skills. The program has been successful to contribute to the development of the region as 43% of graduates have returned to MENA region. 31% of the graduates have leading position. Based on the years of collaboration in this bilateral program, we have summarized different requirements 
and prerequisites which should be fulfilled by both university partners to be able to run different collaboration formats. For example, for a student and lecturer exchange, high commitment of partners and capacity for exchange would be sufficient. However, talking about a joint degree, we would need very flexible examination regulations at each university and high coordination and administrative workload should be considered. We could summarize bilateral and multilateral programs can foster quality in education among different countries. Design of higher educational programs within the framework of sustainable development goals and tailor-making it for different concepts like IWRM would assure education of professionals who are required to implement those concepts towards SDGs. Finally, having a right form of collaboration that can guarantee sustainability of a bilateral and multilateral program needs flexible structure of the program. It needs a degree of flexibility in higher education regulations.